New at six, in the midst of tragedy, a unique bond has been forged between the island of Maui and a small, tight-knit community in Northern California. Our Jonathan Masaki has more about a paradise woman who used to live on the Valley Isle. April Kelly loves Lahaina Maui and at the same time has an equal love for the town of Paradise, California. Sadly, wildfires have connected the two communities and that weighs heavy on April's heart. Maui was my chosen home. I was born here in Paradise, so of course to lose my home that I was born in, but then to also lose my home that I chose as a young adult um, has, been, has been very difficult. April left her hometown years ago and it was in Lahaina she found her second ohana and her way of life working in the restaurant business. After more than a decade, she returned to Paradise just before the deadly fire of 2018. She was forced to deal with that, and as she continued her own personal recovery, Lahaina went up in flames. It's been really hard to have this happen in uh, Maui and to have gone through it here in Paradise. But April took her heartbreak, knowing all too well what it was like to lose everything, and immediately began organizing fundraising events to benefit her Hanai Ohana and the people in Maui. That's aloha, right? That's when you're doing something for somebody, um, even when it doesn't benefit you or even when maybe you're having a hard time, that's what the essence of aloha is. April also has been a listening ear to the many who have called her. For the most part, she just listens and offers gentle words of advice. This is a very long road, so take your time in making any decisions and just really give yourself time to go through the emotions and um, be easy on yourself. April is now the manager of Nick's Deli and Wine Bar in Paradise. She and owner Nikki Jones knows a little bit about helping a community recover. Together, they opened for business just five days after the campfire gutted Paradise. It's kind of fool's rush in where angels fear to tread a little bit, but we wanted to be here for the community. So we have been and we still are. One beautiful thing about uh, Nikki and I opening the restaurant was it was very early on after the fire. And so to see people come to the restaurant and just be there for each other and be able to meet and have coffee. And I wanted to create a place where people could feel comfortable, could feel normal, you know, to forget about all the bad stuff going on and the disaster, but to, to laugh and have a beer with their friends. Together, they have forged a bond knowing what they know and continue to support and encourage everyone affected by the deadly fires on the Valley Isle and in Paradise. You will get through it. There are going to be ups and downs. It's not going to be a fast process, but the support of your own community members will be, will, will sustain you through that. And I think that's very critical. This is a very long road. So take your time in making any decisions and just really give yourself time to go through the emotions and um, be easy on yourself. True words of wisdom from the voices of experience from the town of paradise to an island paradise in the middle of the Pacific. I'm Jonathan Misaki. What about you, now?